Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we will learn how to make a spline shaft in Autodesk Inventor software using the shaft feature. In this tutorial we will use this shaft feature or the shaft generator feature. So let's get started. Go to new. In this we will take the st uh, standard assembly in millimeter and go to create. Now go to design and select the shaft feature first it will ask you to save so ok and save it as assembly 3 or you can save it as shaft save ok now it will, uh, I have already made it so all the profiles are been set here I will delete all so from here you can delete delete this and ok so one base will be left so here ok we'll work with this face now select this by selecting this it will ask you the diameter and length first the diameter the diameter here we will select 11.7 and the length here will be of 24 mm ok and press ok so this will be the first dia now to add this uh, second cylinder click here insert cylinder or any profile like we want to split selection section or insert cone or insert polygon we have separate features here now for cylinder 2 double click here select the dia as 12 and the length will be 13.8 mm and ok so this will be the 13.8 mm dia ok now again click on insert cylinder now don't click this now here we will make that this dia is 17.4 ok and the section of 2.25 ok so this will be the dia now again insert cylinder <coughs> double click here the dia will change to 12 mm and the length of this will be 27.6 mm and ok so this will be the length again insert one cylinder double click and this time we will take 10.8 and the width will be or length will be 0 0.85 zoom out you can see and ok so this profile is made here now insert one more cylinder this will be the last insert cylinder double click here dia will change to the original 11.7 double click for length the length here will be 16.5 and ok so this will be the shaft profile now press ok and ok here so it will ask you to place so click here to place the shaft escape now go to view from here we will go to view visual style shaded with edges so this will be the profile ok now go to assembly now we want to edit anything ok so it is by default fixed if you want to edit this shaft so double click this so it will show you the shaft in assembly only till here now double click this so it will open in the part form ok now we will uh, make the uh, the uh, spline profile so to make the spline profile go to view visual style change it to wireframe <coughs> ok now go to front view go to origin or ok origin here 
take the xy plane go to create sketch take the line command make line here skip go to line command once again from this point make one line here of 23 mm and escape select this top line make it construction select this line again make it construction at first the projected line got construction and this time the line which we have made of uh, line 23 is made construction now go to r command select this point select this top and select this s center go to dimension arc here will be of radius 4 okay go to tangent constraint select this arc and select this line now go to projected geometry select this face escape go to coincident select this and select this point okay and escape select this also make it a construction geometry now go to dimension the dimension a depth here will be of 1 mm okay escape now what is left okay this is also constrained it was in a moving phase so it is constrained now finish sketch rotate the view now go to 3d model go to a 2d sketch start a 2d sketch click on this face to generate a new sketch here now go to project geometry and project this point okay go to left view go to line command from this point we will construct one triangle like here and till here go to dimension the angle between these two will be of 90 okay it is by default 90 the height here will be of 2 okay now go to line command Just click on this point select this point escape select this line make it a vertical line okay so it is getting constrained select this line make it a construction geometry and finish okay so this will be the profile you can change this dot click 2.5 or you can simply take 2 okay not much length is required go to sweep so it will select the profile and select this line you want to cut the profile so go to cut go to view visual style shaded with the gist okay so it will cut the profile here and okay so this will be the cut now go to 3d model and here take the circular pattern select sweep 1 go to rotation axis and select this face here take a count of 12 and angle will be 360 okay now you want to make a fillet here so select this and to part and drag it up up till the uh, after the revolve one now select this edge click on the chamfer we will take a chamfer of 1 mm and the angle will be 45 degree ok now drag it back so the feature will get absorbed here ok if you, uh, if you provide the chamfer first so it will be difficult to make this profile we will make the same profile at other side also rotate this go to view visual style back to wireframe go to sketch select the 2d sketch and here from origin take the uh, xy plane ok now go to line from this edge make one line of dimension 13 mm 
ओके एंड डू गो टू लाइन सेलेक्ट दिस एंड मेक हेयर लाइन स्केप गो टू डायमेंशन गिव दिस डायमेंशन एस थर्टी एम एम एंड गो टू प्रोजेक्ट ज्योमेट्री प्रोजेक्ट दिस गो टू डायमेंशन वंस अगेन फ्रॉम टॉप दिस विल बी एट अ डेप्थ ऑफ वन एम एम एंड स्केप सेलेक्ट दिस प्रोजेक्टेड ज्योमेट्री मेक इट कंस्ट्रक्शन सेलेक्ट दिस मेक इट कंस्ट्रक्शन ओके द ओनली द लाइन्स विच वी विल मेक विल रिमेन इन द सॉलिड लाइन्स गो टू आर कमांड सेलेक्ट दिस पॉइंट एंड सेलेक्ट हेयर ओके गो टू डायमेंशन रेडियस हेयर विल बी ऑफ फोर गो टू टेंजेंट का स्ट्रेन सेलेक्ट दिस आर्क एंड सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन इट इज फुल डिफाइंड Okay. Now finish sketch and go to this face. Select this. Make a new, create a new sketch. Rotate and go to project geometry. Project this point over here. Okay. Go to line command. Select this point and here click on right plane. Okay. Make a triangle here. Make this and till here. Skip. Go to vertical constraint. Here, select this point and select this point. Go to dimension. The angle between will be of ninety degree, and the height will be twelve. Okay. Now finish. Now go to 3D model. Take sweep. This profile will be selected. For path selection, select this path. Here, take the cut. Go to view, visual style, shaded with edges. So this will be the cut profile, and press OK. OK. Now go to 3D model. Take the circular pattern. Select this sweep two. Go to rotation axis. Select this face, and here give a count of twelve. And okay, okay. Again, if you want to give the chamfer, so drag this above sweep two. Select this edge. Go to chamfer. Give chamfer of one, and okay. Now again drag this back to till the pattern two. So chamfer will be consumed here. Okay, rotate. Now select this. Go to fillet. Take here a fillet radius of one. Rotate the profile, and here also one. And okay. Now go to home. Rotate it. Okay. From here, you can change it to steel polished. So it will the material here will be selected as steel. Okay, update this. Now return, and here also return. So it will back to the real assembly, the shaft assembly. So this was a basic tutorial to how to use the design features in Autodesk Inventor software, to how to generate a shaft using the shaft generator in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.